Hello, this is Vettel121, and welcome back to FF4 The After Years. The Kingdom of Baron is ruled by King Cecil, the man who saved this entire land in the wars of the past. Yes. Alright, we get a high potion. Awesome. A new ship connection to Kaipo has been opened. Kaipo Travel Agency. Oh, well, that's nice. Nothing in those pots, I take it? Okay, fine, whatever. Alright, get a unicorn horn, a white fang, and a dry ether. Alright, very nice. Rumor has it that fierce monsters appear in Mist Cave whenever the moon is at its brightest. If you're exploring Mist Cave during a full moon, I hope you're prepared for the worst. Yeah, I don't think I'll be going there during a full moon. King Cecil and Queen Rosa vis visited the moon once, I heard. Oh, I'm so jealous. Hopefully the day will come when regular people can go there freely too. King Cecil never had anything you could call a family. What? He seems so happy now that Queen Rosa and Prince Cedor are by his side. Oh, well yeah, I guess he was kind of an orphan, so yeah, that makes sense. You know, no matter what happens, we've got King Cecil, and that's all I need to feel secure. When the monsters swarmed over the castle, I thought that was the end of this bar for sure. It takes a man like King Cecil to fend off that scourge without endangering any of us. Queen Rosa has only grown all the more beautiful after becoming a mother. I hope I can pull it off half as gra gracefully as she has. Yeah, okay. I don't know, though. Why are the monsters multiplying so quickly all of a sudden? I don't know. I, well, it, it kind of happened in the first game, didn't it? You know, the second moon appeared, and then, you know, all hell started breaking loose. Oh, okay, we have two item shops here, and, uh, yeah, we can buy some high potions. I'm actually going to purchase some of those, because they'll obviously be useful. Uh, did I not sort my inventory? I only have one phoenix down? I thought I bought some of these. Huh. Whatever. Okay, I guess maybe I didn't. Okay, we can buy some attack items here. Ooh, spider silks. Yeah, I want to pick up a bunch of these, actually. Yeah. About 20 of those should do good. That should come in very, very handy. Because, yeah, I don't think Theodore has access to the slow spell, actually. So, yeah. I knew King Cecil had it in him, dispatching that monster horde without breaking a sweat. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, whatever. Alright, we get a potion. And, yeah, that guy was standing right in front of my grandmother's house. What an asshole. Hi, Grandma. Cedor, oh, I'm so glad you're doing well. You should return to the castle as soon as possible. How happy they will be to see you. And, yeah, for some reason, yeah, there used to be, like, an ether and an elixir in the first game in Rosa's mother's house, but they took it out, or they just forgot to put it in, or something, I don't know. But, yeah, we can't actually get those chests back there like we could in the first game, at least not yet. Eventually, we will be able to, but, yeah, not right now. Yeah, I might as well go ahead and buy an iron sword. I know... He's probably going to get a sword soon enough. But, yeah, his attack sucks. It's terrible. Okay, we have iron equipment here that I don't care about. And a silver armlet that I also don't care about. Well, I suppose I could give it to my white mage. And actually, as a matter of fact... Yeah, I might as well... Oh, she already has one. Oh, okay. Whatever. Yeah. The sign reads, Unauthorized personnel only. The door's open. Yeah, if we come back here... What, aren't you going to give us the treasure? No, I can't read. I'm illiterate. What? Oh, you bastard. Yeah, we can't get the treasure there yet. But there is a point that we will be able to get it. So, yeah. Hey, you. Could you quit standing there, please? I'm trying to get some sun. Huh. That's a little bit different. I think in the WiiWare version, all she does, all she says is, uh, what are you looking at? 
Uh, we get an Arctic Arctic wind there and it, another spider silk. Awesome. And yeah, get some other items in this town while we're moseying around. You know, Sid, the airship engineer, his house is in the northwest corner of the village. Come to think of it, we haven't seen him lately. His daughter's beside herself with worry. Hmm. Yeah. Huh? The door in the building in the west part of town? Ha ha, you aren't from around here, are you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am, actually. I'm the freaking crown prince of this freaking place. I can't believe that, that nobody, uh, that guy doesn't recognize his own freaking prince. Alright, we got 500 gil there. And... Okay, we found a mallet that cures the mini status. And I think that's all we can find as far as items just laying around the town. And what's in here? Oh yeah, the Devil's Road. Yeah, yeah. Already went in there. What do you have to say? King Cecil has ushered an era of peace and tranquility to our nation. Shame that his dear friend Sir Kane is not here to enjoy it. Yeah. Actually, he is. Yes, I am, actually. I was thinking about visiting Mist a bit earlier. Cave's been closed off by Baronian soldiers, though, and they refuse to let me through. Yeah, if we go to the Mist Cave right now, they won't let us in there, which, uh, well, I guess, frankly, doesn't really matter at this point. We'll be going there eventually, but, yeah, it doesn't matter right now. Yeah, Sid named his friggin' son Mid, kind of like, uh, in Final Fantasy V. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, whatever. Where could my father be? He hasn't been back ever since that attack. Figure he's just tinkering with the airship again, but still. Sid's son-in-law. I have to say, I'm worried. The man's not exactly young anymore. I'd be, I'd be livid if I heard, if he heard me, s wait. He'd be livid if he heard me say this, but, uh, but what? Aren't you going to finish what you were going to say there? Anyways, yeah, the waterway here is locked. So, uh, yeah, let's go to the, uh, let's go to the castle, I guess. Let's find out what's going on there. None shall pass. Uh, why not? What, do we need a shrubbery to get in? Oh. Oh, okay, he's not even going to open the doors for his freaking kid? You don't care who you are? You need a shrubbery! Yeah, apparently we need a shrubbery to get inside the castle. Yeah. What is it, Mr. Hooded Man? Those guards were strange. So pale, and what's more, they didn't even recognize me. Well, it's also strange that one guy in town didn't recognize you either. Just like before. What are you talking about there? Yeah. Huh? We can sneak into the castle through the waterway in town. Well, it's locked. Someone has got to have the key, right? Let's have a look around the... T I already looked around the town. But yeah, I think we're supposed to go talk to uh, Sid's daughter in order to get the key, actually. If I remember correctly from the last time I played this game... Oh, Prince Theodore! The waterway key? I'm holding on to it for my father, actually. Yes, we received the Baron key. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Absolutely. My father should be in the castle, right? Tell him to stop pushing himself so hard, okay, Prince Theodore? Uh, alright, I guess. Anyways, yeah, Kane's still KO'd. I'm gonna keep him that way for a while, actually. Alright, let's begin exploring the old waterway here. And yeah, we have a secret passage with 2,000 gil. Very nice. 
And yeah, we're gonna fight some enemies in here that are most likely weak to lightning. So, yeah. Definitely take advantage of that. Do I? Yeah, I wonder if this regular thunder spell can take him out here. I hope it can anyways. Or maybe not. Oh, good god. Yeah. Don't, yeah, I was gonna say, don't kill the Black Mage, that would be bad. Are you kidding me? Okay, Cedor gained a level, and we'll keep moving here. Alright, Giga Skaters, I guess. I hate back attacks. Jesus Christ, they're pummeling the shit out of me. Switch Rose! Fuck! Run! Run! Fucking Christ. Yeah, these temporary characters, uh, they suck because they don't gain levels. It'd be nice if they gain levels so they could survive. Yeah. Caught in a stupid back attack and then you get screwed. Yeah, because those freaking Giga Skaters are, like, powered up. They, they actually attack twice. And they attack pretty hard. So, uh, yeah. That really sucks, man. All right, I think we can. I think we can handle ourselves in this one. I think. Have a pretty good feeling about this battle. Unless they just go for the black mage the entire freaking time. Yeah, I want to try and conserve the Black Mage's MP a little bit, I think. Just use Cedor's physical attacks in Awakened form. Yeah, even in Awakened form right now, he's not dealing that good damage, actually. It's kind of bad. Alright, we win a high potion. Yeah, as soon as you use Awaken in a battle, uh, let's say it doesn't wear off. Uh, Cedor will be in critical status after the battle, so yeah, you have to remember to heal his ass every time you use Awaken. Alright, yeah, we'll take these guys out with Bazara. Yeah, I don't like the way those alligators attack twice, that's fucking cheap. Yeah. Alright, B3 area. Oh, yeah, you got these guys. Yeah, okay, don't freaking pick on the black mage that's bullshit man ah fuck it quit fucking oh you son of a You know, Cedor, you'd be a lot more useful if you had a cover ability. You really would, too. That cover ability is extremely useful. Eh. But, we are not using Cecil, so we, don't, we do not have that ability.
Yeah. Let me get a high potion and over here. All right, this is gonna be a monster in a box. So yeah, I want to use ether here. I think. Yeah, I want to definitely heal up before this battle begins. And I probably don't have a guy gear, do I? Well, I should be able to manage without it, but.